In light of all the conversation about gender and identity, we began to wonder if there's even a difference between men and women anymore. We went to Seattle University to find out. I'm aware of the conversation going on in Washington State right now around kind of gender identity, gender expression issues, and the ability to access facilities on those grounds? Yeah. Yeah, uh, like, you know, there's, there's general neutral bathrooms in like all the dorms and stuff like that. I think that gender is fluid, so if you want to use a bathroom because that's a place and that's a space where you feel comfortable and safe in doing so, then I think that that's completely fine. I think that if whoever you think you are, if you're male or female, then that's the bathroom you should go into. I think if it doesn't really negatively affect anybody, then I think anyone be, should be able to choose what gender they uh, choose to identify as. People, no matter what their gender identification is, they should be allowed to use whatever restrooms they should they, they feel like they identify with. Is there a difference in your mind between men and women? Um, no, yes. I mean, um, Possibly? In general, yes. But I don't know why I think that. Socially, currently, yes, there is. There is no need for that difference to exist, uh, scientifically and logically. If you think that you're a male, if you think that you're a female, that matters more than the biological difference. There's not much difference besides what society forces onto people. And how do you know the difference between men and women? by what people think they are. So you can't like judge someone just on like their looks. I don't think there's any one way to really distinguish between a man or a woman, and I don't think it's necessary. Uh, it's not always consistent. It has a high probability, like 98% of the time I can get it right. There is some ambiguity. I think, yeah, there are ways to tell, but then again, you can always be wrong. What would you say I am? Just judging off of your looks, I would say that you're a male. I would probably assume a man, but then you never know. A male. Why would you say that? Based on how I look at you. <laughs> Do you think that's a problem? Yeah, probably. Do you think the difference between men and women matters for any reason? Uh, no, not really. I think most sociologists agree that uh, the concept of gender is more of a societal construct. I do think it matters somewhat, yeah. To me, no. I don't, I don't feel as if it matters to me because uh, at the end of the day, the person is just a person. No, I don't think it should matter. And the differences on a uh, social level are simply a product of a biased society. Then is there a reason to have those labels, male or female? I don't think so. I think that it's, again, a social construct of this binary that we're given at birth. There is kind of a difference, but at the same time, if someone wants to identify as one or both or as nothing, I also find that completely okay. And... There may be nothing more self-evident in the natural universe than the fact that every animal species is divided into two halves, male and female. Yet the most intelligent of those species seems to be wrestling with whether male or female are actually real things. Have we discovered something new, or have we become too clever for our own good? Sometimes when I call a lady sir by accident, they get very offended. 